All right, I might decided to make one more video on this uh, transformer jewel ringer, just to show you how simple and easy it is to make. Uh, I've got some information here. This is the transistor that I'm using. It's MJL21194 NPN. And the reason I'm using this transistor is I actually bought it for a different project of mine, but it works really well with this one, so I'd probably keep it on it. It's at, rated at 250 volts on your collector, um, 15 or 16 amps. So and this, this can handle a lot of wattage without getting over hot and without burning up, and I have yet to have it heat up at all. I don't even need this heat sink on it. But, you know, there it is. If you don't have this transistor, it'll still work on your 2N 3055s. Um, pretty much any higher voltage NPN will run this, this circuit without any problem at all. Anyway, that's what I have. And the first thing I should do on all my transistors is hook up this little LED diode just because it's easier to do it now than it is later. And I kind of set them back a little bit further so you have plenty of space to hook up. So there it is. What you want to do is come over here and it doesn't matter which side you hook it up to. I leave, whenever I disconnect the microwave oven transformer, I like to cut my wires instead of just disconnecting them because you can use these connections later and swap them around and put them on different parts of the the transformer if you like. So uh, we're going to choose, I'll just go with the blue one today. We'll hook that up and solder it to your collector here in the middle. All right. Okay, so now that we got this soldered on, we got it one wire connected to your collector, which is in the center. And then we have our trigger, which is our base, and then our emitter, which is our ground. So we'll hook that up to our ground, and then we got our trigger wire, which is the second half of the secondary, or I should say the other side of your secondary, goes here, and then the other side of that is right here. And one thing that we'll notice right away is this circuit does not work without a load. It needs that load to get the whole thing to start oscillating. So we'll connect that to one side of our light. We're just using an LED light bulb. I took the top of it off. This is just a 40 watt uh, dimmable light. That way we can adjust it to the lowest settings and we'll still get some light out of it. If you don't use the dimmable, then it only works with the higher voltages. So we got the other side of our wire and that goes to your collector as well. So that will be the ground of our load and then the other part of it comes to the high output of our transformer right here. So then the only thing left to do is hook up is our power. And right there. Okay. So we'll see if this thing will work. Twelve. Alright, so I got hooked up the power. I'm not getting any or much amp draw and our circuit is not running. So all we have to do is swap our wires. I'll go ahead and turn off the power and swap these out. Put the blue on this side. Put the power over here and that's why I like those little easy snap on. Makes it a lot easier to switch things around. Now I'll we'll turn our power on. And there we go. Nice and easy. So guys, there's a circuit for you guys to start building, experiment with, and see what we can get out of it. Getting some nice, there's some good light. 11 volts, half an amp, and you'll notice right away my little circuit is trying to kick back some amperage into the system. I'm going to hook up a diode to the power supply and see if that'll keep it from kicking so much amperage back into the system. Okay, so here's my little diode. I took this out of the same transformer, it's just your high voltage diode, and I hooked it in line with the power. 
and you'll notice that it's no longer regulating the power, you're trying to keeping the amperage out. And you'll see right here what I kind of talk about. If I disconnect it and hook it over here, I get that strobing effect again. And it's regulating. I got my little light on. It's getting too much power coming back into the system. But if I disconnect it and put it back over here, it's a nice soft light. And no more power coming back. So it's kind of an interesting little circuit. I bet with a battery, or like a lead acid battery especially, you probably get some sort of charging effect coming back through the system. It'd be interesting to see and experiment with. But until I do that, uh, this is all I have to show you. So, guys, have fun, experiment, play with the circuit, and maybe you'll come up with something even better. Talk to you guys later. Bye.